Okay, welcome to the virtual college exploration for all West Virginia students sponsored by West Virginia Association for College Registrars and Admission Offices and Strauss uh, Thank you for joining us. A few housekeeping announcements before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type out your questions to our presenters at any time. Your camera and microphone are off, so panelists we cannot see or hear you. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so make sure you check out the full schedule at wvacrao.org. Um, and this presentation is being recorded and be available within a, about a week at the same website, wvacrao.org. Now I'll turn it over to, to the presenters. Thanks, AJ. Let me go ahead and share my screen. Alrighty. Hello, everybody. My name is Reagan Blaha. I am the admissions counselor and student recruiter here at West Virginia Northern Community College. I have a couple of my colleagues here um, on the webinar with me. Rhonda, if you want to go ahead and introduce yourself. Thank you, Reagan. Sorry about that. I was trying to unmute myself. My name is Rhonda McCullough. I'm the admissions counselor at West Liberty University. Jess, if you want to go ahead. Hey everyone, my name is Jess Hollaback. I am the assistant director of admissions at Mill University. And Stephanie. Hi everyone, I'm Stephanie Bell. I am a senior enrollment counselor at Bethany College. All right, and we are your um, presenters for today's event, Discover the Northern Panhandle Colleges and Universities. So us four work together almost on the regular basis um, between the four schools. So we just want to give you a little insight and perspective of what we do on a daily basis. All right, maybe if I can, there you go. So you may ask, where are these colleges and universities located? Um, we are located, hence, in the Northern Panhandle. Um, Bethany is located in Bethany, West Virginia. West Liberty is what located in West Liberty, West Virginia. Wheeling and Northern are both located in Wheeling, West Virginia. So between the four of us, we're probably about 40 minutes each way from each other. Um, North or Wheeling is probably about five minutes up the road from Northern. Um, Northern is about 25 minutes from West Liberty and about half hour from Bethany. So do you guys have any inside scoop or anything that you want to tell them about where we're located and some of the Awesome, awesome hidden gems of the Northern Panhandle. Um, I could go ahead and start. As far as our location goes, we are um, very close to the, uh, right off of Interstate 70 is um, the Highlands area, which is a major area that is located close to all of our colleges and universities. And it's where there's, um, an enormous amount of retail uh, shops as well as restaurants. Uh, there is a athletic facility, a movie theater. There are all kinds of things at the Highlands and all of our campuses are located very close to, to that area. We're also about an hour from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And so our location um, for our four universities um, is very unique and there is a lot to offer, not only in the Wheeling area, which is where Wheeling and West Virginia Northern is located, but also where West Liberty and Bethany is located. We are more rural in nature, but we are still very close to Wheeling, West Virginia and the Highlands location that I spoke of. Awesome. I also like to note, it's not noted on this map, but Northern also has two other campuses. So we have a campus right a little bit above Bethany College up in the Northern Panhandle in Weirton, West Virginia. And we also have a sister branch down in New Martinsville, um, West Virginia and Wessel County. So a little bit further south of Route 7 for us. We're also only about two, two and a half hours from Columbus, Ohio. So if you want to take a day trip to Columbus, you can always do that. We're also only about four, four and a half, five hours from the, the DC area. So where Wheeling is um, located, it's very accessible to different um, historic cities. You can go on day trips, you can take a nice weekend getaway. And right now the mountains are beautiful. The trees are turning, so it's an awesome time to come visit us up in the northern panhandle. Jess, Stephanie, do you have anything to add? Yeah, I just wanted to add one more thing about well, location, uh, but for us at Bethany, our location plays a really big part into where our students come from. 
um, you can kind of see, you know, that northern panhandle is real skinny and real small. And, you know, right to the left is the state of Ohio and right to the right is the state of Pennsylvania. So at least for us, um, our, we have students that come from both of those states um, as, just as well as West Virginia. The amounts are about the same. So we bring in a really heavy student population from technically out of state, but realistically driving distance wise, uh, still super close. Yeah, and Bethany and West Liberty are the closest to Pittsburgh. There's some back roads that you guys can get up into um, Pennsylvania. So is there anything else you guys want to add to this slide or do you guys want to go ahead and move forward? I'm ready to move forward. Okay. Jess, are you ready? I'm ready. You guys said it well. <laughs> awesome. All right. So our next slide is the articulation and consortium agreements among each other. As I mentioned earlier, we have a lot of agreements and articulation or agreements and consortium um, agreements among the four of us here um, between West Liberty, Wheeling University, Bethany, and Northern. There's always something happening between the four of us. So we just wanted to highlight on some key points. Um, West Virginia Northern has several different articulation agreements between three different colleges in the Northern Panhandle. I believe that we have 10 articulation agreements, um, two plus two programs as they're referred to, to West Liberty. We have one to um, Wheeling University, and I believe we have two that go to Bethany. And the majority of them are in the human services and education majors. But we also have one major, our criminal justice program is a two plus two to West Liberty to, to pursue your bachelor's degree. We also have reverse transfer agreements with West Liberty that have been signed within the last couple of years. And as you can see, these are the most recent um, pictures of our presidents signing articulation agreements. The West Virginia Northern and West Liberty one just happened about a month, month and a half ago on our courtyard. And we signed an articulation agreement for our social work program. So it'll be a two plus two social work program to West Liberty University. So do you guys three want to go ahead and talk about your formal consortium agreement? Um, sure, I could go ahead and go next. Um, and just to explain a little bit about that, the purpose of having a formula, form, formalized articulation agreements is really to assist students in making that smooth transfer into um, the local colleges. So students who, for instance, start at West Virginia Northern um, to complete their chosen academic program or to complete general studies, but their ultimate goal is to go on to a four-year college or university. Uh, what these formalized articulation agreements do is make that transition a, a smooth process. And, um, and that is just one of the ways that our Northern Panhandle institutions uh, work together. Another really good example of how we work closely together for the benefit of the students is the formal consortium agreement that Reagan referred to um, between Bethany, West Liberty, and, and Wheeling University. And it has been billed as the first of its kind in the state of West Virginia. And the agreement allows students to, at any of those three institutions, to take one class each semester at one of the other institutions uh, to help for credit towards graduation. And the benefit of that agreement is to help students complete their degree in a timely fashion and also eliminate any extra cost that would be incurred to the student. In other words, there is no extra cost to do that. So um, as I said, in other words, if you're enrolled at any of those institutions, West Liberty, Wheeling University or Bethany College, and say there is a class that you need uh, for graduation, but it may not be being offered at your home institution, but you notice that it's offered at one of the other institutions, you could actually sign up at the other institution to take that class, have it transferred back to your home institution, and that would be at no additional cost to you, the student. So that's in addition to the close relationship that all of us have with West Virginia Northern, because we do have many students who start their education at West Virginia Northern uh, to earn their two-year associate's degree and then move on to the four-year institution. I just like to reiterate what Rhonda just said. Um, you would graduate if you start with us at West Virginia Northern with your associate degree. 
and that associate degree would trans then transfer into your bachelor's degree after you would graduate from West Liberty, Bethany, or Wheeling University with that um, articulation agreement. So it's an awesome way to start small, get your gen eds, get your generic associate degree, get whatever you want out of the way. And then once you graduate with an associate degree with us, you can go on to a bigger four year institution. Another nice thing about the consortium agreement, we have um, kind of what Rhonda was saying with how sometimes, you know, you might need a class and it fills up there's no spot space left in the semester you need it or maybe you need it a specific semester to graduate um, but it's just not not offered that semester at your school there's a couple different scenarios where something like that could come up so it's been really useful for students to be able to have access to these two other institutions to essentially solve that problem so that they're not delayed and by any means with finishing their degree on time and they're still able to fit everything in and it goes back to our location because we are so close to each other. Um, it's super easy. You know, if you have to travel between campuses to take the class, it's really easy to get there. Um, there's also some classes that are online that work for this agreement as well. So that's another opportunity to still be able to get those classes in um, without having to leave your institution. Yeah, and I just would also wanna say, even if you're not into, um, an articulation agreement or you just want to do your general um, associate arts degree with us, um, you can always transfer those credits to West Liberty, Wheeling University, or Bethany. It'd be a smooth transition, um, but we always do recommend checking with the registrars at each, each institution to see if you would want to transfer to a bigger four-year institution afterwards. Anyone else have anything to say about this? Jess, Rhonda, Seth, you good? Alrighty, we'll go ahead and move forward. So we thought it'd be nice to show you guys um, each of our admissions requirements for each institution. Um, I'll go ahead and get started for West Virginia Northern Community College. So we do have a free online application. All of our students will um, have to do an online application. All you will do is go to our website at wvncc.edu and there's a big button right in front of it and says apply online. Um, and you will just walk through the steps step by step to apply online, no charge. So if you decide you, Northern wasn't for you or you don't want to go to Northern, there is no um, repercussions for you for filling out an application. Um, SAT or ACT scores are not required for admissions entry. Um, I say that when um, because we do not require ACT or SAT scores upon entry to the college. We would look at your ACT or SAT or even your high school transcript to see where we can place you in classes. So that would be um, in terms of your placement tests, we would use your ACT or SAT scores. Um, we would need your official high school transcript. Um, we give you one semester to get that into us. So if you would start in fall of 21, you would have until that next semester to get us that transcript. Um, a lot of our students do give it to us prior to that semester starting, that fall semester starting, because like I said earlier, we do use SAT and ACT scores to see where we can place you into classes if you have no prior college credit or not. Um, we would also need all final college transcripts. So if you took classes with West Liberty, Bethany, or Wheeling while you were in high school, we would need all those um, transcripts to be sent to us as well. So we would be able to help you guys determine what classes you would need or see if you've already taken anything. And again, we're an open door policy. So that means the only thing we truly really need you to do is fill the application out and we can go from there. So that's the basics of West Virginia Northern Community College. If Bethany, you wanna go ahead and go next? Sure, so you'll probably notice some common themes with our admission requirements, but with Bethany, we are also a free application. Uh, you can do ours online. We are a member of Common App. If you're familiar with that application, we do accept that. Uh, we have absolutely no preference on which one, so it's totally up to you which one you wanna fill out. Uh, aside from your application, the only other formal document that we do need are your official high school transcripts. So your high school counselor will have to send that to us. Uh, and then as soon as we have that, um, that technically completes your application. We are test optional now, so we do not require the test scores to be submitted for um, admission. 
So once we have that application in the transcript, you're good to go. We will get your application reviewed um, right after that since we are a rolling admission school and we will get your decision letter back to you within probably about two or three weeks uh, maximum. So we try to get everything turned around pretty quick. So from the start of your application to when you receive that admission decision letter, um, it, it's nice that we're able to do that so early for students. Rhonda, if you want to go ahead and go next. Sure, yeah. And um, we also have the uh, free online application. If you go to our website at westliberty.edu, there is a button there that says apply now. And you just click on that and follow the instructions all the way through. Our admission requirements are a minimum 2.0 grade point average from high school. And we typically do have uh, ACT or SAT requirements, but due to this pandemic, a decision has been made. Um, and you could see from all of our institutions that there it is test score optional. So test scores are no longer going to be, at least for the upcoming year, um, and which was the reason I kind of put um, spring, summer, and fall of 2021. Um, hopefully things will be getting back to somewhat normal status when, once we get through this pandemic and, um, and we will reinstitute that test score requirement but for now it, we have gone test test optional now we still encourage students to take the ACT or SAT because we do look at it for scholarship purposes and and that's part of how our scholarships are awarded is based not only on your grade point average but on your test scores however for admission into the university we will not be requiring the test scores we also have uh, curricular requirements which typically are the things that you need to graduate from high school anyway. So having uh, students not meet the curriculum requirements it's, is typically not uh, an issue, but those requirements are listed on our website under admissions. And um, so yeah, as, as Reagan had mentioned, you'll notice that a lot of our requirements and the things that we do for each of the institutions for admission purposes are pretty similar. All right, and last but not least, Newland University. Go ahead, Jess. Yes, so just to echo pretty much everyone else, um, Wheeling University also has a free online application and we are also on the Common App. So again, whatever you prefer, we take both. Um, we are currently test optional. We're rolling emissions, which means there's no hard deadlines. So start of September, you can start applying. And honestly, you can apply up until move-in day. Um, for a direct admit, meaning you do not have to go through a committee or anything along those sorts, we like to have a minimum GPA of a 2.75. But if you do fall below that criteria, we do have a review committee that will review your application. Awesome. And I would just like to reiterate one thing for West Virginia Northern. Um, our free online application covers all of our programs. However, if you are interested in any of our allied health programs, that would be a selective admission application. And I know a lot of you would be looking for those for this upcoming for fall of 21. Those should be out within the next few weeks. So check our website and just go under um, selective admission applications and they'd be under there with the new deadlines for fall of 21. Um, other than that, do we have anything else to add ladies or do you wanna continue moving on? Awesome, all righty. Maybe if I can get to go. Alrighty, so it's the portion of the presentation where each, each of us have put together a little bit of a snapshot of our colleges to highlight some points and some things that we wanted to stand out to you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We thought the two-year community college would be the best start, and that way we can build up to the four-year institutions afterwards. So again, my name is Reagan. I am the student recruiter and admissions counselor here at West Virginia Northern Community College. Um, West Virginia Northern Community College is a co-educational and tri-campus um, college. Tri-campus, like I said earlier, we do have um, two sister campuses. So we have one in Weirton, and the one in Weirton is the middle picture, and we also have one in New Martinsville. So we have three different campuses overall. Um, our Wheeling campus has five different buildings on it. So our Wheeling campus is much bigger compared to our other two who only have one building, but our education center 
and our Applied Technology Center and our Industrial Technology Center, our Student Union, and the b and Building are all on the Wheeling campus. So if you have any type of, um, any questions about that or concerns, please don't hesitate to ask. If you want to come see a tour of any of the facilities, I'd be happy to do that as well. And you can do that online at wvncc.edu. So we are a public two-year comprehensive community college. We were established on July 1st, 1972 by the West Virginia Board of Regents. And we have programs in liberal, liberal arts and sciences, career technical, workforce development, and continuing in community education. So that's just a little bit of a snapshot about West Virginia Northern. Um, like I said, if you want to come onto campus, you want to tour any of our allied health programs, our applied technology programs, we have a brand new welding lab that was just opened up about two years ago. So if you have any interest in any of that stuff, um, this is my contact information. So um, like I said earlier, um, I am the admissions counselor here at West Virginia Northern. I'd be happy to show you um, any of our spaces in any of the facilities. If you have any generic questions, please feel free to go ahead and reach out to me. Um, please feel free to text me as well. I don't want you guys to steer away from texting me. I do have a work cell phone. Um, if you just have generic questions, we also do have a chat feature on our website. If you just go under wvncc.edu and then at the bottom lower left hand corner, it says chat with us and a live representative from our financial aid will be a lot um, on there. Our admissions, IT, anything along those lines, we're here to help you guys make the transition as smooth as possible. Okay, next, let's talk about Bethany for a little bit. So Bethany is a small private liberal arts college uh, located in Bethany, West Virginia. Um, we are the oldest private college in the state. So we have a ton of history and traditions that are really important to us. Uh, we were just recently named um, a Princeton Review 2021 Best Colleges Region by Region. So we were really, really proud to have that distinction this year. We offer 32 majors, 34 minors, and eight pre-professional programs for our students. Our top majors from this year's freshman class that came in this fall were physical education and sports studies, biology, management, uh, communication and media arts, and marketing ended up a tie. This year coming in in the number four spot and social work came in as number five. And those are pretty typical. Year after year, those tend to be our five most popular programs uh, for students who are entering as freshmen. Um, we also have usually about eight to 10% of our freshman class comes in as undecided, and that's totally fine. Um, you have two, two years, so that's four semesters to take classes in your liberal arts core requirements, um, while also being able to explore any intro level classes in any different majors that interest you. So if you're not quite sure yet what you wanna study and you don't wanna formally declare anything yet, that's totally fine. Um, you have, like I said, two years to take all those classes and help you make that decision before you have to formally declare that. We're a small school, um, so with that, you're definitely going to see small class sizes and a small student to faculty ratio. So student to faculty, you're looking at 10 to 1. So for every 10 students on our campus, we do have one faculty member. Um, that's going to equal out to about an average class size of about 14. Um, and that's definitely very average. You know, you might have a little bit bigger classes your freshman year, maybe around 20. Um, but then by the time you reach your senior year and you're taking those top level classes, you're probably looking at class sizes of five, six, seven, eight students. So uh, you definitely work your way towards smaller class sizes. But I always say that's the perfect time to have a class of five students is your senior year because you're about to graduate. You're trying to figure out what your next step is. And having that small class size really gives you access to your professor to um, you know, give you some guidance and, and maybe help be your support as you make that next step. Um, and oftentimes, you know, those are the top level classes for those majors. So they know um, the absolute, you know, the best. They're the best at it. That's why they're teaching those classes. So it's really nice to have those relationships at that point in time. Um, we're also an NCAA Division Three athletics institution. We're the only D3 school in West Virginia. We do offer 22 sports, plus we have a co-ed equestrian team. So if you are an athlete and you are interested in continuing to compete after high school, uh, definitely we re recommend you hop on our athletics website, fill out a recruiting questionnaire, uh, or even just reach out to our coaches. Just introduce yourself and, and that way you'll be able to learn about their recruiting process um, so that you're able to uh, continue on with your sport for, you know, hopefully four more years. 
Um, our enrollment snapshot, I wanted to add this in here really just to um, let everybody know that we do offer scholarships up to full tuition. So as soon as you're accepted, you will receive a merit scholarship, which will go up to $20,000. But then if you meet certain academic criteria, you will be eligible to compete for some of our higher scholarships, which do go up to full tuition. Uh, Reagan, can you move to the next slide, please? And then last but not least, this is me. Um, I work with all West Virginia students. So um, I will be your primary contact throughout your entire application process. So here is my contact information, call, text, email, um, at any point in time. I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, well, again, my name is Rhonda McCullough, and I am uh, an admissions counselor at West Liberty University, and I'll spend a couple minutes here speaking to you about West Liberty. Uh, we were founded in 1837, so before West Virginia was even a state, and we are the oldest institution, public institution of higher learning in the state of West Virginia. We have an enrollment of approximately 2,500 students, and our faculty to student ratio is 15 to 1. We offer uh, more than 70 different majors, and we have over 50 clubs and organizations for students to be involved in. We are NCAA Division II for athletics, and we uh, are very proud to say that we do have the highest four-year public graduation rate in the state of West Virginia. We give out more than $6 million in scholarships each year. And we have also been ranked one of the safest college campuses in the state of West Virginia. And just recently, it came out that we were named the 2021 Hidden Gem among the Southeast U.S. colleges by College Raptor. So we have a lot of things that we're very, very proud of. And um, we are currently, even though this pan pandemic is still going on, we have opened up our campus to college visits, campus visits. So we encourage students to come and visit us. If you go to our website um, under the admissions office, you'll see you could schedule an appointment right online. We're being very cautious, however, how we're conducting our campus visits, we uh, masks are required and we're only we're limiting our visits to one student or family per time slot. So it, but all of that information is given on our website. So we really encourage you to come and visit us, especially right now, this time of year, as was mentioned earlier, this part of the state is just beautiful during the fall. So uh, anytime that you could come and visit and really get a feel for the campus, um, you know, you'll be doing yourselves a, a big favor. So, uh, and uh, many students who are interested in attending college at, in the Northern Panhandle, they'll make their visits to be able to visit um, all of our campuses here in the Northern Panhandle. They'll visit West Liberty in, in Wheeling and West Virginia Northern in Bethany, maybe all in one day or over a couple day period. So we encourage you to do, do that as well. We have um, our black and gold days that we always have every year. However, this year they all are all virtual. However, part of our black and gold day visits, we've always, we've traditionally had a drawing for a $1,000 scholarship for anyone who was in attendance at our black and gold days. And even though our events are now virtual, we're still having that as um, an incentive for in attending one of our black and gold days online. And we are still doing that drawing for a $1,000 scholarship. So again, we encourage you to visit. And on the next slide is my contact information. It, there is my email address, my office phone number, my cell phone number, and under my picture there is a link that is called You Can Book Me. So anyone who would like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one virtual appointment, you could actually go to that link and uh, we would schedule a one-on-one a -on -one, um, online meeting. Um, of course, you could also visit me in the office if, if you chose to come in, make a visit to campus. So 
Um, and we encourage any questions that you may have either during this presentation or if you need to contact any of us after this presentation today, please feel free to do so. Sorry, everyone. Okay, so again, my name is Jessica Hollebeck and I'm the Assistant Director of Emissions here at Wheeling University. Here is just an overview of our campus. So we are conveniently located in Wheeling, West Virginia. We are actually right off I-70. Uh, fun fact, we are the only Catholic university in West Virginia. We offer four-year bachelor's degrees, online master's programs, and we do have a doctorate of physical therapy. So we are smaller in size, so you are going to see our average class size is about 15 students, and our student to professor ratio is 11 to 1. We are D2, and we are in the Mountain East Conference. We offer 22 athletic teams here at Wheeling University, and we also offer D1 college rugby. 100% of our students receive academic scholarship um, funds. So again, we are private, so we do try to make that cost come back down. Um, all of our students receive a merit-based scholarship based off of their GPA. They range from $8,000 a year up to $16,000 a year, and they are renewable for all four, year, four years, so they carry through for you. Um, we were recently named the best regional university in West Virginia by the 2021 U.S. News and World Report Best College, Colleges Rankings. If you want to apply to Wheeling University, I know we briefly talked about this before, but again, we are on the Comment app and we do have a free application online. We're rolling admissions, so we definitely, you know, encourage you to, to apply just to see how much it's going to end up be and to see what we have to offer. And like West Liberty, um, we are also having in-person visits right now, but we are also being very safe about it. So again, we're one family per visit. Um, and so we're trying to be super safe during this pandemic. But if you are still considering us and want to come check out campus, I would definitely encourage coming to campus to see us. This is just my contact information here if you have any questions. Um, I do deal with the 13 counties surrounding us, um, but if you would have any other additional questions, I can definitely get you in contact with anyone else on our team that would be your admissions representative. Um, yeah, I think that about sums it up. Awesome, thanks Jess, sorry, the computer wasn't isn't cooperating with me today. So we just wanted to give you guys a chance to um, ask any questions. Um, I do want to maybe um, us four want to go ahead and wrap it up by some saying a couple more statements about our institutions and we can take questions. Does that sound okay to you guys? All right, I'll go ahead and get started. I do want to say West Virginia Northern will be having um, virtual open house days on November 7th and, no and November 14th. Again, they are going to be virtual. Unfortunately, we just can't find it safe to have be on campus like we would. But like Rhonda said, we will be giving away a $1,000 scholarship. Um, so between the two, somebody will be picked for a one $1,000 scholarship. And there's different times for the days um, and different meta majors for the days. So go ahead on our website if you go to wvncc.edu. There's a big um, sign that says virtual open house. And you guys can register via Zoom and we will get you guys um, started on your adventure to Northern. Also, I do wanna say that I think it's very awesome that all of us have a very similar student, um, faculty to student ratio. West Virginia Northern is about 14 to one. So you can see why the Northern Panhandle um, colleges and universities work so closely together. So I just think that's an awesome partnership that we've um, developed and it will continue to grow throughout the years. Rhonda, if you wanna say a last thing about um, West Liberty? Sure. Yeah, and, and I would like to reiter reiterate what Reagan just said. We do work closely together because our ultimate goal is to provide what is best to the students that come to each of our institutions. And so that, that's what our goal is. And so we welcome you to check all of us out. Uh, we're very proud of 
um, our four institutions. We're very proud of our location here in the Northern Panhandle. And we hope you come to visit us soon and, and take advantage of everything that we have to offer. Yes, any last words? You said yes, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay, I didn't want to overstep. So um, I also didn't talk about our virtual open houses. We do have one coming up in October, October 20th, and then we will have a future one in November as well. They are virtual. You can sign up online if you are interested. Um, definitely a great way to learn more about our campus. And last but not least, Stephanie. Okay, well, I'll just add um, our little bit of information about visits as well, so you're aware of um, all of our schools. Uh, we do have on-campus visits open back up as well. Again, very limited, just like everybody else. And we have two time slots per day, Monday through Friday, and one family per time slot. So if you're interested in Bethany, definitely get on campus um, so you can see everything for yourself. Um, so come visit us online we, or on campus. We do still have online visits open as well. So if you want to connect with an admission counselor um, online before you come to campus, definitely set those up. We do offer a $1,000 visit grant to any student who attends their first campus visit through our enrollment office, whether it be that online visit or on campus. So um, definitely a good way to earn a, a small scholarship while you get to learn more about the college. And then just like everyone else, we do have virtual events coming up as well. Um, our next one is on Wednesday and it is a virtual open house with our student ambassadors. So we have it set up as a Q&A panel style where if you want to talk to a live current Bethany College student, um, we will have a couple students there to answer your questions. Awesome. Thanks, everybody. I think that sums up our portion of presenting today. Um, is there any questions in the chat or anything that we could answer or anything that we need to finish up on? All right, I'm not seeing anything in the chat. So like I said, again, um, if any of you guys that are watching this today need to get a hold of any of us, this is going to be recorded and sent to you guys. So you will have all of our contact information. So I thank you for joining us and taking some time out of your day. Um, thank you ladies for joining me today. It's been a great experience working with you guys the last couple weeks and I was very excited to do this. Thank you very much. It, it was a pleasure like working for all of us to work together like this. So thank you. Okay, I just have a few housekeeping notes if you guys are all finished up. Um, Want to thank everybody all the attendees for joining today. Um, when you close this window, there'll be a link for a very quick four question survey. You appreciate any feedback you could provide. Um, this is also the first of many sessions that will be hosted. So please sure, be sure to sign up for additional sessions through wvacro.org. And in about a week, you'll find this session's recording as well as others on wvacro.org. Thank you very much.